Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. <clears throat> Obviously, I waited a little, very long time to make this fucking video because I try to avoid. I try to avoid debates where they, they, they never even should have begun, you know, to, you know, in the first place. But I would be lying to you if I told you that I did not. I, that I don't get the, this question all the fucking time, all the time on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and it's always on the vegan issue, right? Um, and everyone's asking me, you know, obviously, oh, you know, it's either why you're not vegan, what do you think about vegans, you know, uh, you know, that it's it's the whole. I, to be honest, I don't know when this whole thing's fucking started, right? Because it's all over the place, and I, my answer is always the same. My answer is always the same. I only have one issue with vegans. Vegans could do whatever they want. They could, you know, continue to try to, you know, spread the movement and things like that. I have absolutely no problem with that. My only issue with vegans, and you know, I had a debate about that on Facebook with, you know, with a friend of mine, uh, a fellow subscriber. My only issue with vegans is when they try to pull the moral card. When they try to go into morals and ethics, that's when I eat them for breakfast. I, I, I admire what you guys do. More power to you. Continue to eat grass, sorry, broccoli and things like that. Continue to, uh, you know, you know, just everything you do, I don't mind. I really don't mind. You know, because, you know, it's 7 billion people on the planet. We diverse. We can't all agree on the same thing, right? But when you mention ethics, is when I have a problem. When you pull the guilt card, when you try to make meat eaters feel like we should be guilty and we should feel ashamed and whatever about eating meat that's when i have a fucking issue and that's when i have to call you out on your bullshit right again i have a lot of vegan friends you know I, remember it's like a huge movement people are turning vegans overnight and shit so it's, it's not like i i, I hate them like the hell no you know it, it goes against what i you know to me fighting somebody or uh, not liking someone simply because they they have a different opinion it goes against you know, the very thing that I strive for, which is increased knowledge and things like that. You know, you have to go through conflict. You have to disagree. That's fine. But again, back back to my main issue with them is when I pull the moral card. And let me tell you exactly why. There's a lot of reasons why, but let's focus on like a few things. Three, you know, three, four, five things. Number one, when vegans say, oh, you eat meat. Because cause, cause normally we tell them that, yeah, you know, I believe that, you know, the suffering of animals is kind of like overdone. They they kind of like treat them like shit. I've seen some of the videos. And I'm like, damn, it kind of fucking, it's kind of harsh, man. Like, do you really have to treat them like that? I love my steak, love my bacon, love my chicken. But do you really have to treat them like that? So I agree with the whole like, oh my God, they treat animals like shit and things like that. But when vegans turn around and say, well, you contributing, you, you contributing to it by eating meat. That's when I'm like, hold up, motherfucker. Hold up. Hold up with a big ass H. That's like me saying, because you benefit from capitalism, you buy your shit that's made in China. Some things are made in sweatshops and shit like that. They use child labor. You know, that's like me saying, because you, you, you know, you wear things that are made in China, because you wear things that are made in sweatshops and things like that, you 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 contribute to it. You're responsible for child labor because you purchase a lot of items that, that, that you will look at me like I'm fucking retarded, right? But that's the exact same grounds. That's not apples and oranges. That's apples and motherfucking apples. That's the exact same grounds that you guys are using. How would you feel if I told you, well, okay, you know, let's 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 look at the capitalism example that you know I first started with. We live in a capitalistic world. Capitalism is amazing in terms of growth, helps grow the economy. It's perfect for GDP, GDP per capita. Great, right? I have this Mac because of you know capitalism, this iPad, all these great things, right? But we all know. Let's be honest. People that study economics, capitalism has its fucking downsides, right? A lot of negative aspects to it, right? A lot of fucking shit. But you guys don't mind enjoying the products of capitalism. To my fellow vegans, you don't mind your your computer and your, your internet and all these things. All these things which are really the product of capitalism. I don't care what anybody says, right? Or at least have a part to play with capitalism. You don't mind enjoying that. But so how would you feel if I came in and told you, well... Look at all the downsides of capitalism. Look at the poverty that's being caused. Look at the oppression. Look at the exploitment of you know humans and things like that. You contributing to that? What would you say? Exactly. You look at me like oh, you know I, you know I don't know man I don't I don't, I don't want to give up this Mac man I, I like my Pornhub right? Oh X videos. What the fuck do you watch right? So don't use that argument of oh. You know, because you eat meat, you're contributing to that. Well, then again, again, because you enjoy the process of capitalism, you're contributing to the torture and exploit, 
exploitation of all these fucking poor humans that are working in third world countries and things like that, right? You contributing to child labor indirectly. So again, delete that argument. Stop. Don't use the moral code. Oh, the second thing too is, uh, I tell them about the, the, you know, when they're like, oh my God, animals are suffering. Animals shouldn't suffer because of us and things like that. I tell them, motherfucker, you went to the doctor this year, right? You have medicine in your cabinet, right? Do you know? Do you, do you know the animals that had to be really tortured and exploited for you to have your your cancer drug or your diabetes drug or your whatever? Do, do you know? A lot of them know. They just don't talk about it. You don't mind taking your fucking aspirin. You don't mind benefiting from medical science and going to the hospital and ER and all that stuff, going to the dentist. You don't mind doing all that shit. Even though you damn well know that animals are being tortured in labs every single fucking day for you and I to have access to that. Ah, I think it's thinking like, oh shit, right? Name a vegan that, that that's out there and, and insulting meat eaters and all that that does not benefit from modern science. And don't tell me you don't have a fucking choice because you do. You can fucking go and start looking for mushrooms and shit to cure your sicknesses. You don't have to use medical science, but yeah, you do. You don't have to go to the hospital. Yeah, you do. Everything you will you will not be where you are today if it wasn't for the exploitation of animals. I'm sorry. You know, even though the way we we advanced as a species, the civilization that we built, it was on the backs of oxen and horses, and animals were exploited one way or another. That's just the nature of the world we in. Progress is made through the exploitation of other species. I'm sorry, it sounds fucked up, but you guys know I keep it 100. percent I'm not gonna hide it. Functional functional perspective, functional perspective. Sorry. Things are the way they are. If we could change it, we would. So don't look at me and tell me that, oh, you know, I should feel bad because I eat meat. And then as soon as you're done, you're like, hold on, I got a headache. Let me go take my aspirin or let me go to the hospital. When you, you know, you indirectly causing, you know, you indirectly causing the suffering of those poor rats, right? And those monkeys, right? When they do all these studies on neuroscience and they have to use monkeys and, you know, fucking prick their brains and shit. It appalls us. We go, oh my God, that is wrong. But when we're paying, we don't mind taking the products of that shit, right? Even though we have alternatives. All right, so again, don't use that, man. Don't. Don't use that argument. Another example, I mean, I could go about this forever, is when they say, well, you know, I tell them, I say, well, you guys eat plants because they say you shouldn't eat animals because, you know, they're alive just like you. I'm like, well, plants are alive, right? I mean, I mean, that's, that's, that's a popular argument. Plants are alive. Plants have DNA. They have a lot of similar processes like us. You eat them, right? You don't mind eating them. Just, people say, well, that's different. That's not different. Who told you plants don't want to be... Who told you plants want to be eaten? You know, you know certain plants actually have defense mechanisms to repel insects and animals. Plants don't want to fucking be eaten. Anything that's alive, that's not want to die. Including plants. Plants don't want to be eaten. They don't sit here, eat my fucking fruits and whatever, eat me. No, they don't want to be eaten. Just because you can't hear that shit doesn't mean it's nothing. But yeah, you don't mind eating plants. Right? People tell me I should use the argument. You damn right I'm going to use that fucking argument. And, and I, I love when they say, well, it's different. Plants don't have emotions. The moment, if you ever said that, just, just go back and apologize because that is the worst argument you could actually use. Plants don't have emotions. Number one, who chose that as a criteria of what you could eat? Who, who, who came out and said, okay, the number one criteria that decides what you should eat or not is emotions. You don't get the right to just, you, you don't move the goalposts. You don't get to choose what the criteria is. Because because then again, what if what if we find out that plants had emotions? Would you stop eating plants then? Oh, oh yeah. I can't wait till I see you eating glass now, motherfucker. Or, even even better, what if we found a way to make animals without emotion? What if an animal was brain dead? Would you eat them then? Of course you wouldn't, right? See? So it's not, don't say, well, I don't, I don't do it because they have emotions, they have feelings. Because you wouldn't eat a brain dead cow. You wouldn't eat an animal that, you know, that, that doesn't have emotions. So that's not an argument. You're just, you're just trying to come up with arguments, man. Things that have, that hold no water. Stop, guys. Again, don't use any of these weak-ass arguments. I, I I appreciate what you guys do. I respect the fact that you, you stand for something, you believe in it. Cool dose. But do not try to make us feel guilty, man. Please. I like my steak. Team medium rare. I love it. I love it. I wish the animals didn't have to go through that shit, but I love my steak. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Don't pull the moral card. You know, and the to me the the um the funniest thing ever, right? Because you guys know I study religion a lot. I studied so many cultures, and the funniest thing is when I see a a, a, a Christian, a Muslim, vegan, and then they try, oh shit, nine minutes long, oh, Jesus Christ, I got something for you. But when I see a, a, a religious, in terms of like Christianity or Islam, 
um, especially this religious vegan that's pulling the, the moral code that's like, oh, you meat eaters, you know, whatever, you guys are terrible. I laugh my ass off. I laugh my ass off. Because if you're a Christian and you're a vegan, for more reasons, if you're a vegan for health reasons, that's completely different. For moral reasons, because you believe animals should be eaten, then some some cognitive, cognitive you know, this is going on here because your God commands... God commanded the Israelites to eat the fuck out of meat. What is the biggest feast? The Passover. That, that's a lamb. That's not a fucking bean. That's a lamb that has to be slaughtered, right? God commanded that in your book, in your Old Testament, in your Torah, right? Right? You told Moses to put the blood on, on the on the fucking doorpost. He didn't say, you know, get some olive get some olive oil or kill a bean and get some juice out of it or whatever. Put some orange juice on the door. Kill a lamb, right? Ouch. Like Heath Ledger in uh, Dark Knight. Ouch. You know? So, yeah. You know, same thing. A lot. You know, if, if you are uh, a Muslim vegan and you're doing it for moral reasons because you believe the animals will be eaten, then you got you to gotta bone the pick with your God. Because Allah commanded, you know, you know, the people of Islam, Muslims, to eat that fucking lamb, right? Am I am I am I lying? Did I did I make that up? See, so 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 pretty much tell me, explain something here. Even even a lot of the, the rituals and sacrifices and all that stuff require animals. For food, the Levites had to eat those things, the you know, someone has to just be careful. Come on, come on. Again, if you bring to me a, a, a health reason or, or any other thing, I will listen to you all day long. But if you bring the moral card, if you pull the moral card when it comes to veganism and eating meat, I will eat you a lot, right? So don't do that, guys. That's my own problem with vegans. Again, that's my only problem with vegans when they pull the moral card. Everything else, more power to you. I really admire you. I'm not bullshitting. I, I, I respect what you do, but don't put the more card. All right, guys? Again, no hard feelings. You just know Megan has to keep it 100%. See you medium rare, guys. Like the video. Subscribe. Comment below. Feel free to disagree. By all means, stay polite or I will remove your ass. All right, guys? Stay tuned for the next videos. Remember, back to normal schedule. Comment your next questions. The next videos will come from the conversation with Allison. I'm out of here.